the Salty Show, and welcome back to our Total War 3 Kingdoms Let's Play as Ma Tong and the Ma Family, Episode 10. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you are, like, and subscribe as always. But without further ado, welcome back, guys, to the summer of 204. In the last episode, we had some events happen as we dealt with rebellions. We are colonizing in the, uh, the Daqing area up here, and we defeated Lu Bu, kicking Dong Min's influence out of the north. The only thing that's left up here is us, Han Su, our ally, and Zhang Jin, which unfortunately, um, that is going to have to be okay for now. We will return to this area to deal with her when we have the available resources. For now, Peng Di and Huan, Huan Long Bi is pulling back to uh, Kowloon here. Uh, actually, my bad, they're pulling back to Lin Jing here. And then we're going to send them where necessary. For now, our son, Ma Ji, down here is doing a good job of holding on to Jing Zhao. Another rebellion has spawned, but we should be able to deal with it swiftly next turn, hopefully. And Dong Min's forces are trying to pull back across the river as they do not have any sort of resources or influence to hold that. Other than that, in the south, uh, a uh, battered and swiftly uh, um, generated army led by Lu Jin down here seems to be pushing, pushing for Ling Zhao once more. The garrison itself will not hold, so we will be marching our troops that way. In fact, we might risk an ambush so that we can catch them off guard. Be ready to move! Caution! Douse is the heart's desire! Fingers crossed. Even an ambush stance, we have a fairly, uh, we don't have any ranged units, therefore it would not be as detrimental to us as it would be if we did. However, we are going to cut this army off, giving them no access to retreat, and we're going to take Lu Qing down here with Ma Chao's army and Ma Taong. Attack! This is what you train for! Well, it does appear to be a Pyrrhic victory. We're going to quick save, and we are actually going to fight this as uh, we don't want the other army to come down and reinforce. So, everyone, I'm going to see you on the battlefield of Lu Chang. Welcome to the battlefield. I've done my best to cut out the uh, moving bits of this battle as the enemy decided to deploy across the map from us. So, welcome to the main battlefield. Now we're going to go ahead and deploy our boys in a nice long formation. We're actually starting to engage our general. We don't want that too much. Let's go ahead and pull our cav around the flanks here. It is going to be an uphill battle. But once we get our infantry in position with a hammer and an anvil... It should be a done deal. Against this garrison, anyways. Yeah, they, the AI actually... This is the edge of the map. The AI has decided to corner camp a good bit. Right, we're going to go in slow-mo as... You guys can still make it up the hill. As our forces clash here in the battle below. Have have gotten around the flanks. And our Sergi infantry are going to lay waste to them. Oh, here comes the devastating Ma Chow. And his father down. Oh my lord, on infantry ranks, just devastating them. Causing insurmountable damage to this poor garrison army. With that, I'm not too sure there's anything left that this army could really do. 
So let's just watch the carnage as they do truly pour in and die. A mouse route is ensuing. Carnage litters the field. Three Kingdoms battles fields, like aftermath battlefields and things like that, do look amazing. The aesthetic is lovely. Just like that. That is a victory. Like out of the, the flags, they did a really good job with the flags. You gotta give them that. But everybody, that is the end of this extremely swift battle. I'll see you on the campaign map. Map progresses. We did secure Lunching down here. Cutting this army off, they are now deep in our hell territory and will start suffering supply condition or supply Trust issues. Instinct. Unfortunately, we did have some agent actions go against Ma Chao and our um, and Ma Tai down here, but it should be hopefully nothing to worry about. But without further ado, let's find out Lu Yan's response to this and what this army does. Welcome back, everybody, to a surprise battle. I wasn't going to show this as this army is battered and devastated, but it looks like Ma, Ta, uh, Ma Tai has some mopping up to do with this army. As they stayed in force march, but they stayed in our range. So it's time to make sure they don't forget who they're dealing with. Um, I don't know why I was saying a Pyrrhic victory when uh, we have double their army and double their skill. But we're gonna just make quick mince meat of it. I do forget force march games just because they're in force march you don't get to ambush them like you did in other game or other entries to the series but there's gonna be a simple battle i'm not really gonna worry about it too much we're just gonna crush them where needed we have so much cav Our armies are a little hurt, but not too bad. Move our forces around. I do enjoy the battles of 3K. They do, they, they're really lovely, to say the least. Begin. Get our Zhang Du Spearman in there. Our cab gonna come up and mop up the archers. You. Talk all you want. You are still going to die. That is a unfortunate Attack! statement for someone that's <laughs> just got pincered. John Do Spearman coming in here in the rear. Time to mop up whatever they have left. Yes, a swift vac uh, victory. One that truly uh, should have been swift on the uh, campaign map too, but it is what it is. We crushed that army and Ma Tai's uh, reign of glory in the south is far from over, it seems. Now, obviously, Ma Tong is not in his family, but he is working with his cousin, I believe. Who they can share the exploits in. Eliminating uh, Lu Yan. Order has been restored. I believe is on the table for today. Now we are actually he is Lu. Uh, we are going to employ Lu Jin, I believe. We may increase his ambition to gain independence. Uh, um, and then modest, so that can fight each other. That's fine. We are going to employ to him action. actually. Free the prisoners. 
Let fury explode and lay them low. We should be able to mop them up coming in the next turns. But meanwhile, Ma Chao and Ma Tong are going to push for Zhejiang or Zhejiang here, I believe. Peace through conquest. For order. Obviously, public order is going to be a bit of an issue. Caution douses the heart's desire. Attack! But it is undefended. And I don't think Lu Yan has the abilities really to stop us at this point. So we're not going to lay off the throttle now. Without further ado, I think Caution. we're at an end turn. So I'm going to go ahead and end that. And I'll see you all in a minute. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to the Autumn of 204. Not much has happened in the intern. Uh, some construction is underway in the Nanjing province as we're building a private workshop and our capital of Jaibin. With it being the center of the Han Empire at this moment, or the center of the trade roads into uh, the Silk Road, we have decided to erect the county offices to uh, basically uh, under or overwatch over these uh, trading posts, these caravan posts. Without further ado, Ma Tai did mop up that army up here in the north with very minimum casualties and is pushing for Qingdu, which is Lu Yan's um, final remaining capital city. Along with that, Ma Chao down Follow here. The heart. Show them heat. We'll lay siege to this province and we're going to start them out. Let explode and lay them low. As Lu Yan has erected once again a hastily constructed army with Qing Zhao, Rin Kui, and Wang Ningdi. Oh, she's the faction heir. Um... But raise them comes as summer recedes. along with the garrison, uh, primarily of archers, which thankfully Two arms. we have quite the cavalry heavy army to try and stop our advance. But I don't think it is. But we're going to starve them out to make them uh, to draw them out into an open field battle against us. And with that, we do have 4000 left, which is just enough. I'm keeping it in uh, our pocket so that we can uh, colonize Ping Ding here. Hopefully, Lusion here doesn't do it before us. Let's go ahead and find out. Without further ado, though, I hope you all are enjoying the episode so far. Um, I'm still in the fence about how I feel about the cuts I'm doing. Y'all will you leave feedback below if you enjoy the way this is going or not. Um, I knew this was going to happen. Hinted why I didn't cut it. I didn't want to make multiple cuts. But let me know feedback below if you enjoy the comment, uh, the uh, the cuts, cutting out a lot of the uh, slower parts, or would you like the turns to be left in there, and uh, you'd rather me show everything except maybe the turn timer going through. But without further ado, everybody, I will see you on the battlefield. As uh, we are outnumbered, but not by much, we have the Battle of Shu to defend. Time for Ma Chao and Ma Tong to uh, prove their worth once more. Alrighty, welcome back everybody. I cut out some of the boring parts here. Ma Chao immediately get thrown into the fight here. As some of their cab getting a little antsy with us here. I really don't think it's nothing they can't handle. I am doing our best, though, to keep a bit best? of a oh, oh, large formation to soak up their infantry. Their, their archers are too exposed there for us to not take a beating out of this. Let's actually move these guys in here. Y'all will line up there. But our infantry have engaged. Let's actually try to knock out their cab right there. March at the double. To attention. Kill them. You must be tired by now. I question your sanity. <laughs> yes, indeed. Their cab and their archers are running. Ma Chao and Ma Tong are going to deal with their one general that's actually trying to fight us here. While what remains of the infantry are in a slog down here. Yeah, 
Yes, unfortunately for everyone in this army, I don't think they're long for this world. Oh, yeah. Stand ready to attention. To attention. Oh, my God. Calvary is the way in Three Kingdoms. This army is utterly devastated. And I believe this goes a long way to say Lu Yan himself is utterly devastated. I don't think we'll be seeing a army that can stop the Ma Tong family, or the Ma family. But everybody, that's a swift victory, and I will see you back on the uh, campaign map. Back to the campaign side of things, the winner two of four has rolled around. Nothing of severe importance happened. One thing is our scouts actually did find a uh, Dong Min army that is of sizable proportion in on the road towards Chang'an. Let desire shape and guide Chang'an has a decent sized garrison along with Ma Ji or Ma Zhu, hoping that they can hold against that force. I really don't want anything to come in the way of our economical standing at the moment. Persevere. Strike true. Let's go and establish order. They're not to blame paint. for their general's evil. Uh, we own most of the province now. The only one we don't own is Ian, which is, once again, we already talked about it. Uh, we will be revisiting that, the I'm sure, tree survives. in due time. Without further ado, back to the field of focus here. Stoke passions and strike! We will demand their surrender. They still said no. Well... I guess they'll be dying to the bitter end. Heaven rewarded our passion. We are losing a little bit of imperial favor, but it is all right. This belongs to us now. Let desire shape We're gonna move and in and occupy. Passion. Yeah, our forces are doing good here. This is salt works. Is gonna be industry very nice. Now all that remains is Chindu itself. Peace through conquest. Now, Ma Chao and Ma Tong will get to rest and recover. That's your passion. And I... This, mm, Secure the for now, we'll allow Ma Tai to do so as well. There's no reason to push into enemy territory during the winter months. So, we'll guard their borders as Lu Yan. Originally, I thought he might have been the very end to our campaign. But he's now on the back foot, and we'll, uh... I see him crumbling fairly soon. Without further ado, we do actually have a strategist we can put on an assignment. Commerce, industry, and peasantry is our positives here. Corruption's out of 10. Commerce, silk. You're making 900 alone from commerce, yeah. Go ahead and apply him there. So with that, our north is secure. Hansu is dealing with some rebellions and looters. Once we've secured our borders, which I don't know really if we're going to be pushing against um, Watugu here. He is of equal economic strength. What do you wish? Hey, doesn't they don't want to be vassals? That's for sure. Uh, it seems like he owns a decent bit of land. Not sure how much, but he does own one. He owns one province, which is unfortunate as I really uh, wanted to m finish up this province. So it might push us to war with him. But we have bigger pressing issues until then. Luyan needs to be dealt with. We need to secure the Jaming Pass. And we need to establish our economy is growing swiftly but surely. To arms. Well, we're going to let it continue building up. I'm actually going to go ahead just in case we are going to get another. Let's try and grab two more infantry units here. Ones that won't break upon contact but aren't expensive. None of them exist really. Everybody quaying. Yeah, they're only. Oof. They're not going to do too well. 
We might... Well, never mind. We might as well grab the Sir... Sir, the infantry, as they'll... We've seen them in combat. We know they'll hold Caution. a good bit. Douse is the heart's desire. We might swap to the Zhongdu Spearman as well for his army. But without further ado, let's go ahead and end the turn. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Welcome, everybody, to Spring 205. So, some events did happen. Um, unfortunately, Hansu passed away. And it's left the faction to Han Jin here. I believe maybe his son... But it isn't looking good for his son. They do have... Their forces are abandoning the fight in every direction. And they only have one province left between the Yellow Turban Rebellion and the Looter Faction here that's taken over most of his land. It seems Ma Tong is not going to be able to uh, ignore his former or his uh, late friend's lands any longer. With that being said, that might just be the job we assign. Peng Di himself. Claiming and mopping up this back is really is gonna be important. We should start on this side of the city though, taking Jin Chin back, securing their this region or commandery, and then pushing across the Yellow River and securing this. Or the Wu Wei province. Because we don't really need a thorn in our side coming at us from this direction. We've been able to secure the north, finally. We're almost about to get to a pinnacle on the south, leaving our enemies only here in the center. So we don't need yellow turbans or looters coming at us and raiding our western profitable lands. That should be safe. Without further ado, we need to choose a new reform. And we've gone down the industry branch a good bit. And military, but we are going to be... I think we had a plan here. Yes, we are going to get the merchant tax exemption. Let's actually look how much... We're making 741 right now. Let's see how much this does for us. Oh, 1,000. Jesus Christ. I knew that was going to be nice. But, once again, more pressing issues. Resume it's time we march stance. on Shindu. And we're going to march on him from both sides. Show them heat. Make sure Lu Yan knows his days are numbered. Without that. They aren't attacking us, thankfully. The army that was setting here on this road, perhaps they might be in an ambush stance guarding, waiting for us to eventually try to press down this highway against uh, Dong Min, as he only has a couple territories left, so he's probably pretty scared. If I had to take a guess. We have 962 left in the bank. We can actually get more of this. So this promise is making one or 1104. Let's see what it does in two turns, perhaps. But we're going to end the turn as we are going to focus on putting Lu Yan to rest. And I believe that will be the capping point of this episode. Destroying... Lu Yan. As we've encircled him in all points, the Ma family is here to crush this rebellious leader. Not that he was under our control at all, but he was a part of the Han Empire, and we are restoring that order. However, I do believe when the question comes up next, do we keep the Emperor and remain Prime Minister? I think that it might be going away. I think it's time the Emperor might abdicate the throne. Oh, unfortunately, we have a couple of uh, issues here. Lots of uh, unfortunate raids. And I was correct. This army was an ambush stance, and it's steadily getting closer and closer to, to Chang'an. We got 1,375 in the garrison. Then we got 743 right there. Fingers crossed that, plus the garrison and Huan Long Li as the governor, should be able to take that on. Moving out. Let's keep moving Peng Di back to the western front so we can solidify what remains of our ally here. I'm hoping, with how bad off he is, I do hope the Yellow Turbans take his last province and eliminate the commandery so that we can secure it all, so we don't have to do it later. 
our ally down here has got oh well, that's held by Watugu I see yes yes that is one thing we might be going to war with Watugu uh, eventually if we want to secure this whole commandery but we're gonna leave that up for a later discussion for now nurture passion It's time for Lu Yan to fall. We're gonna get a battering ram and we're gonna start sapping or tunneling under. Tunneling under. Unleash fury! Channel passions. Let fury explode and lay them low. Does suggest a Pyrrhic victory. Strike with fury! I... Not too sure the game knows exactly what it's talking about. The fall of... The fall of Qingdu will be swift, I believe. Finally making good money. Thankfully. I don't think we have That's anywhere... Chang'an can't upgrade, but I, do, I feel like they're about to attack us, so... Not my biggest concern to get Chang'an an upgrade. We have no one else that we can recruit either that would be beneficial to the cause in one turn. So we are going to end it and see what happens. All right, I'll see you on the flip side. Forgot to end it. Well, hello, everyone. It seems Lu Yan has ordered his remaining generals to go out and break the siege against Ma Chao and Ma Tong. Unfortunately for them, I don't think it's going to go well, but we will give them the benefit of the doubt. And this will be the last battle against Lu Yan. Or, well, against his faction. We haven't seen Lu Yan on the battlefield for quite Fortune some time. Smiles upon us. Let us not squander this opportunity. A couple of general talking going on here. I do enjoy this. There was a lot more character. I do enjoy characters to some degree, but I miss the. Brother, uh, today I like we the general fight fighting. For So they are coming for us. Prepare. They're gonna do a, a nice long drawn out uh, formation here. Oh, let's begin. Enemy reinforcements are on the field. Everybody, they are going to, they should come to us more than likely, but I'm going to cut it into the action when that takes place. All right, welcome back. As our troops crest the hill, their army lies before them. However, there is nothing to fear. Other than fear itself. one way to piss off uh, Ma Tong and shoot at him. Yes! Strike! Run, run! Ready! Charge! Unfortunately for the armies we fight, until they develop... Move up quickly. Until we run into some uh, heavier armed forces, nothing seems to stand in the way. Luyan's army crumbles at the sight of Ma Tong and the might of the Ma family. I will say these these battles have been swift and easy for the most part. Um, I do look forward though to the kingdom battles that we'll get into later where there'll be far more established armies. Such as against the Duchy of Wu. Because he... The Sun family has already established themselves as the Duchy of Wu. Which is kind of insane. But... Man. 
we'll get there one day, fighting heavier armies, as we're still dealing with mainly militia while we have access to nomadic warriors to a varying degree, which are far more warfare orientated. Lu Yan is relying on peasants for the most part, and it clearly shows. Heaven rewarded our passion. A truly devastating Consider defeat. Consider this a mercy to restore order. We lined his generals up at the gates and slaughtered them, showing him that he will fall next. Obviously, they do still own the Jaming Pass. We'll have to backtrack our way there. But for the most part, don't call for reinforcements. Construction's underway. More ancillaries. This army is still sitting Channel at Chang'an. But let's put Lu Yan to rest. Don't passions and strike. A decisive victory. Celebrate. Our victory was just. A fine settlement. We'll take it. And Let so these falls. Shape and guide passion. Chengdu. So, he does have farmland, which is interesting. Good to know. I'm going to. So we do have industry buildings and farmland, along with economic. Wow, you just. Industry is the main source of income here. 75 food production, 25 for peasants. I think we should primarily, we should get rid of the commerce here as, yeah, demolish that. And we might downgrade this and go for the court system over here. That's already a very financially profitable Act quickly. province. So, with Lu Yan defeated in the south, it's time we make our way to the Jaming Pass, where Moving out. inevitably I'm sure he's One going to recruit an army now. But we will crush it as swiftly as possible. But basically, Lu Yan has been defeated. All that remains now is we must protect the southern border. The Nan Man forces are here. But I'm hoping Watugu will act as a significant buffer to these enemies. Hopefully he doesn't declare war on us. But that is also why we're probably going to keep Ma Chao Ma Tong in the south for a little bit longer until we can dedicate another force to replace them. Let's continue moving our forces... Toward glory. We will make our Patience way to Chang'an. Renew our vigor. And we have some money to spend, finally. Money to spend without the worry of running out. Which we're doing good on food currently. Let's go to our capital here. And we're going to work on increasing the county office to a magistrate. Could take 1600, drop us down to 12, which leaves money. We're going to put down here to the craftsman shack. 1109. That is unfortunate. That was not a big boost to income that I was hoping. Silk and industry and peasantry. Commerce. Perhaps I was wrong, this doesn't provide. Silk is a different income compared to commerce. Yeah, I believe I might have been wrong. Which is a bit unfortunate as we have the communal workshop here. We're going to demolish it. It's only going to cost 270. Go ahead and complete that. I enjoy that you can spend money to rush these constructions. Uh, it did diminish it because we lost a little bit of our industry. That's okay. Oh, I think we're going to do... Is get... Let's see. 
We could get the Confucius Temple, but really... It would allow us to access some things that we need. But I do think we're going to just get land development to start pumping out some food in this region. Because there's no real boost to anything that we need. We could get the Administrator of Office, actually. We might want to do that. That's a handy building to have in every region because it decreases the corruption. Which, if you watch my Rome 2 series as well, the corruption is running rampant in some of our promises, and it's hard to deal with. But, everybody, with the fall of Lu Yan's capital, and all that remains is his control over a single pass, his faction is utterly devastated. And that is going to draw us to a conclusion for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe, as always. If you look forward to the battles to come against Dong Min, as he is rushing, it seems, to try and take Chang'an. But... I guess his strategists are a bit fearful of the, the fact heart. of uh, Dong Min can only muster militia forces at this point. He's lost all military support. If you look forward to us finishing off the Dong, asserting ourselves as the restoration of the Han, which I do think we're going to do the next time that event rolls around. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like I said, comment below your feelings and thoughts on the way I'm doing this series. Do be honest. And without further ado, I hope you all have a great week or weekend wherever you watch. I've been your host, Salty. 